Speaking of, I saw on your profile on your IG, there's you got like a fitness stuff going on. Can you speak on that in relation to just being disciplined in business? Because I, I believe like how you do anything is how you do everything, but I just want to see your take on it. Yeah, I mean, I say that all the time. And actually, you that's probably on one of my captions is how you how you do one thing is how you do you know as everything just exactly mm -hmm. what you said. So um, everything starts there. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if you've heard of the 75 hard challenge by Andy Priscilla, but, mm -hmm. um, I started that this year, January 1st, gotcha. and it was a, a 75 straight days. And it's not even a challenge. It's just, it's a program, you know, 75 days of working out twice a day. One of those workouts is outside for 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Um, you have to create a meal plan that works for you and stick to it with zero cheat meals. Uh, you have to read 10 pages in a book, a physical book, every day, uh, and it has to be some sort of a self-development, moving you forward type of book. You got to drink a gallon of water every day, you know, and uh, take a progress picture, you know, every That's how my year started, gotcha. and that just cleared up my mind so fast. It got me in the right state of mind, the right self. And it has just been in a journey. It's truly a year long program, uh, uh, several segments to it. So I'm going through that now, but it's created such a level of discipline that when you cancel out all the partying, you cancel out, you know, just all the junk that is built to just keep us busy. You start to, you start, things start to get quiet and, and you start to realize like, man, I have all the time I could do something my mind started firing on all levels, all levels, ideas, ideas. I was calling my friends, my business friends and like, just, have you thought about this? We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Once I stopped, you know, just hanging out every day and eating like crap and drinking every day. So now I work out every day. I'm moving my body every single day. And that is the difference. I believe of somebody who will be successful and somebody who won't be. You got to move your body. It keeps you healthy. Mm -hmm. keeps your mind sharp. You know, don't drink. If you do keep it very little, you know, eat clean, just the basic stuff, man. You know what definitely. I mean? Definitely. Yeah, no, def I definitely agree. So I feel you on that. So from me reading your bio, I mean, you've been tapped into a lot of things. You said you have businesses that didn't work and things like that. So I know, a lot of my listeners, when they see on the surface, when I'm interviewing people, when they see like what I do, they might think like, okay, he's just doing credit repair. But I always emphasize the fact that it's not just running a credit repair business. You have to understand operations within business in itself. So I know you have, you know, experience just being a boss, probably hiring people, you know, firing people, that kind of thing. So can we talk about you stepping into your credit repair business? What actually worked to your favor just because you've already ran businesses before um this time just like you said just just having been through everything and i've taken a lot of business development courses mm -hmm. um for me the first thing i did and it's really since 2016 um i don't really listen to music anymore Mm. You know, mm -hmm. I'll go to concerts with my wife and we'll go see shows and stuff. But mm -hmm. my car is my library. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always a podcast. Yeah, or it's a book. It's a podcast or it's a book. My all of my social media feed is is inspirational, motivational, mm -hmm. you know, people. It's all the influencers. It's all the entrepreneurs, you know, mm -hmm. so all of that teaching over the last you know, six, seven years now, I was in a program called Arte Syndicate, which, you know, taught me just next levels about business. So mm -hmm. all of these things, tried, failed, tried, succeeded, all the development, all the education that I'm giving myself, um, doing this this time, it's, it's, it's light years different than anything before. So now we came in, and we built the right operations. We got CRMs. We've got, we even have coaches. You know, we even brought in coaches. Um, uh, I hired an entire fulfillment team. So 
I'm not just taking a credit repair client and then spending all of my time taking them through the process. I've got a, I've got a whole team that is doing the fulfillment, you know, that is, is working with these clients. So they're, our clients are getting the proper care, the proper treatment, while I get to focus on the intake, the inbound, focus on the yeah. content. You know, I just hired a, a video editor so I can get all my reels going. I'm filming content, filming little 30 second, 60 second, 90 second videos and sending him. So now over the next, you know, 30 days, probably starting on the 4th of July, every day I'm going to have content coming out, content coming out, you know, and that's already attracting, you know, new customers. That's attracting new business. I haven't even ran ads yet. You know, eventually we will as we yeah. iron things out. So the difference this time was the operations and building a business that can scale. And, you know, we, 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 came, we came to the table and invested money. We invested money to get this thing. We probably put up 18 to 20K day one to get all of this stuff you know, set up to get all the systems in place, to get all the processes in place, to get, to get the CRMs done. You know, we're building funnels, we're creating all kinds of stuff to build this to scale. So um, that, that was the difference this time. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, no, putting money back into your business is definitely important. So you guys started, was it January of this year or when? Um, I got started in the academy in January, okay, you know, and I, I uh, actually hired somebody inside of Academy to gotcha. fix my credit and then walk me through the process of what gotcha. they did. Show me how we're doing. What, what, are, what are these bureaus? What are these agencies? What's, what's this reporting stuff about? Who's LexisNexis? You know, mm -hmm. ha hold my hand through the whole process so I can see what's going on. How do we do this? How does this work? You know, what are the rules here? Um, so, yeah, it's a new business. It's this year. And then over, you know, from then till now, while getting my fix, my business partner and myself have been in the process of building out ours, setting our stuff up to scale and getting things going. So, um, you know, for the rest of the year, we'll just be fine tuning, tweaking, adding things in, building out the CRM. Um, and just we'll see where we're at this time next year. Gotcha. Sure. Have you guys been actively taking on clients currently or not yet? Yeah, yeah. We are we started okay. uh we actually started taking on clients already. We've we've Perfect. got clients coming in the door. Um, you know, we already have, you know, successes with that. People reaching out, just Instagram. Um, you know, I've got the the people in, in Instagram, you know, I've got VAs working. Mm -hmm. I was setting up calls and all that stuff. So, you know, we wanted to and and do it right the first time so that way we could we could handle it. And and for me, I would say that fulfillment was the key. Perfect. Okay, so just for the people, what would you say maybe just one of your more memorable client wins so far? Well, you know, it's funny because I've been on board. Um, it's me. You saw what? Can you, you repeat know? that? It's it's uh it's me. I'm I'm, oh, I'm okay, our okay, biggest gotcha. <laughs> our biggest client win. You know. Yeah. Um, and and, and it's 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 funny because my wife doesn't come from a place where people have bad credit. Mm -hmm. She comes from an Asian community. Mm. And being in credit repair, how many of your clients, you know, are coming from the Asian community? Mm -hmm. Probably not a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Where I come from, everybody's got bad credit. Like, it just happens, you know? So, yeah. so I was trying to explain to her, like, like, why, like why I even have bad credit and how it works. And she's like, no one, nobody needs that. Like, why do you start a business around credit repair? That's, people don't need that, you know? So going through it myself, every time I would get a letter in from, you know, TransUnion or, or, or Equifax and I'm showing her, look, deleted, deleted. Mm -hmm. She's like, what? 
how do they do that? Why mm-hmm. is it being deleted? I don't understand. You know, so, so, so far, because we are on the newer side, um, my own story is the most powerful. We have clients mm-hmm. now that are going through the process. They're getting things deleted. They're super happy. You know, we're going to um, add in the business funding segment to here in a few months. So we'll be mm-hmm. able to add that in too, just building out those mm-hmm. processes. Um, but it's been a, it's been a great journey myself. And, you know, I believe that you can teach somebody and educate somebody on what you've been through, Thanks, you know, um, a little sidebar on that. I, I go to the, the gym out here every day and I don't understand why this happens, but 75% of the personal trainers at the gym are fat. And I don't know yeah. who's signing up for that. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Like when you're, yeah. you know, like, who, like I'm going to pick that guy. So yeah. you, know, you can't take somebody to somewhere you haven't been. So mm-hmm. I share with them, like, people are like, man, I have, like, you're going to see my credit. You're going to be shocked. And I'm like, well, maybe not. You know, mm-hmm. you know, I had my, my last guy I got, I got signed up. He's like, have you ever seen someone's credit worse than this? I was like, yeah, mine, you know, mm-hmm. you got a five something, but you don't have two repos. You know, mm. he's like, oh, okay. So it, it's good to speak from a place where you've been yeah. and you've came from and you can help others. So definitely, definitely. No, that's definitely a gem. 